Well, uh, yeah, there is kind of an alphabet soup in finance, so sorry to add one more acronym, but uh, PACE is one that you may want to become familiar with. Uh, I, I want to teach you about PACE a little bit and also apply it to a case study of a regional mall that uh, we worked on, um, uh, a project up in Lake County. Um, PACE, uh, like Todd said, it, it means Property Assessed Clean Energy. It's an acronym that uh, really focuses on two things. One is energy and uh, one is assess. Um, uh, PACE is basically just the use of assessment as a mechanism on property uh, to create a revenue stream that can be uh, the support for financing. So if you think about uh, assessments, uh, they are often placed on property uh, by municipalities for sidewalks, for example, or for road improvements. Sometimes property owners request assessments because they want to do uh, improvements to the area around their building. So they'll go to a municipality and request an assessment. Well, PACE is a change in the law which allows a property owner to request an assessment for energy efficiency and alternative energy improvements. So energy efficiency is very broad, anything at all that reduces demand, HVAC systems, et cetera, um, all, all considered energy efficiency. Um, alternative energy are a specific basket of improvements, solar, wind, geothermal, uh, and the like. And so this mechanism has been adopted in 28 states. Ohio has a PACE law. And, uh, and really what we use uh, PACE for is to secure revenue bonds. Um, we take that assessment revenue stream and we put it as security behind a bond. Um, bonds can be purchased by a number of different types of investors. Sometimes with a PACE transaction, you'll have an owner-driven transaction, where the owner of the improvement is buying the bond himself and basically taking that revenue stream and, and, and using it to pay himself back for his improvement. Um, other times you'll have those uh, bonds purchased by a bank. Uh, perhaps uh, an owner has an existing relationship with a bank and the bank's willing to lend to the owner based on the loan to the value of the property or whatever other criteria the bank has with that owner. Uh, and the assessments, again, become uh, uh, just a, a way to uh, monetize future value of the property uh, and, and send it to the, to the bank as an investor in the bond. Finally, you can have uh, you know, capital mar market purchase. You could have a, a, uh, a mutual fund or other institutional investor buy a PACE-backed bond. Uh, but there, the assessment stream is usually not good enough for the mutual fund. Mutual funds are going to want more security. They like things like direct pay letters of credit or exceedingly high loan to value or other, you know, other credit enhancement uh, for uh, a purchase like that. Um, what we did in, uh, in Lake County uh, was a relatively novel transaction. It was an owner-driven transaction, and it was for a regional mall, uh, Great Lakes Mall. Uh, was, uh, as you might imagine, a mall. Um, it's got one main parcel and then some out parcels that are owned by some of the other uh, tenants. And the main mall parcel had 80 tenants in it. Um, well, each one of those tenants has a lease, and those leases obligate those tenants to pay a portion of the property taxes, a portion of the operating expenses, a portion of some other things. And the mall owner, uh, Simon, said, well, I need to make some energy efficiency improvements to my building. Uh, I've got to put about $3 million in for HVAC and for some uh, solar roofing and some other things like that. Um, how can I do this in a way that will get me cost recovery that's efficient? Um, well, instead of renegotiating all 80 leases or trying to get some type of cost recovery mechanism into the CAM piece of the lease, um, the, uh, the property owner, Simon, just passed that cost through to the tenants through the tax piece of their lease. The assessment shows up on the tax bill and the tenants pay a proportionate share of that assessment. Uh, so what Simon was able to do was to buy a bond which got Simon a uh, cost recovery for the improvement that, that Simon put into the building. Simon was going to put in a, a $3 million improvement. Simon still put in a $3 million improvement, but they, but they did so by purchasing a bond. When they purchased that bond, that assessment revenue stream pays Simon back over time with interest, and it's paying him back by the same people who would pay him back anyway, uh, the, the tenants who are, are there in the mall. So th this mechanism was really an owner finance uh, tool, got Simon some interest rate recovery. The tenants actually liked it. It induced the improvements to the, to the mall. It also lowered their electricity bills. Uh, the HVAC improvements uh, actually get their costs down. So the difference between their increased assessment costs and their lower uh, operating costs was net positive to the tenants. So you kind of created a win-win situation for all those folks. Um, that was done in December of 2012. The issuer of those bonds was the Lake County Port Authority. Um, you can do these with a, a local financing entity. You can do them without. Uh, but it's, uh, it's just a new way to think about uh, how to take you know, your position in a property and leverage it for very specific uh, purposes for energy efficiency and alternative energy improvements. So um, that's my, my thinking.